DSO Marketing Manager Margo Van Horn here. I've got Melissa Mielens, our Principal Flute, calling in from Stowe, Vermont. Thanks for joining me, Melissa. Thanks for having me, Margo. So what was a typical work day like for you back before the pandemic? Um, as I'm sure you've heard from all the other musicians, there really is no typical work yeah, day. That's what um, everyone says. <laughs> yeah, some days I'd be teaching long days, some days shorter days of teaching interspersed with rehearsals, concerts. And that's one of the things I really loved about my profession is every day is different. There's every day is unique. So what's a day like for you now? <laughs> Not so unique. Um, I wake up. I might practice a little bit, do some teaching on Zoom, so at least there's still that connection. But I have to tell you, the days are spent thinking about, should I walk the dog three miles or five miles? Or where will I take my bike route? Will I take it on gravel or road? Yeah, um, I really miss playing with my friends and colleagues a lot. And I look forward to when we can all meet together and perform for everyone out there. Um, what's something people might not realize about being a professional flute player? I don't know if this is necessarily a professional flute player answer, but um, it's actually really easy to play the flute. And unlike poor oboe players and bassoon players that have to struggle with the breeze <laughs> and the, temper the temperature outside and whatnot with flute, if you can take a soda bottle and blow across it and make that sound, you're a flute player. You got this. <laughs> so uh, what's the most unusual show you've ever played, if you had to pick? Um, it, it, there's a two-part answer to this. Um, I'm going to date myself a little bit, but it's it's well worth it. Um, some time ago, I played in the Jeunesse Musicale World Orchestra, and it really was people from all around the world. It was for college students and young professionals and it was my first time playing overseas and there are two times that it met once in the summertime and that summer it met in Uruguay in Argentina and I remember playing in the Teatro Colón in Buenos Aires and people throwing flowers down on the orchestra which Aww. has never happened since it was pretty incredible um and the other thing that was really neat is that same orchestra reconvened in Berlin that same year. And this was actually um, just after Christmas um, by New Year's Eve. And this is the same year that the Berlin Wall came down. I'm totally dating myself, but I don't care. <laughs> it was the most phenomenal thing is that like um, on New Year's Eve, the orchestra, I think we played an early concert or something and then we were let loose and let free. But I went with tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of other people to the what was left of the Berlin Wall. And it was such a unique experience because there are people from all around the world helping each other up, pulling each other up on the wall. And, and everyone was just like, woo, freedom, and, and passing champagne bottles down. And <laughs> it was the exact opposite, really, of what's going on in the world right yeah. now. The sense of um, togetherness and freedom and love from all races and nations of the world was really incredible. And I will never forget that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's especially poignant right now that I can't even imagine people sharing a champagne bottle, let alone, you know, gathering by the thousands to celebrate something good. <laughs> right. Yeah. No masks back then, that's for sure. Yeah. So last question, what's your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? Coffee, coffee, buzz, buzz. And I want to have a shout out to Ben and Jerry's that back in the fall on the Church Street, um, Ben and Jerry's uh, walk-up window. Mm -hmm. I got some caramel crunch flavor or something like that. And it was in the scoop shop. And I've been waiting, waiting for it to come out in the pints. And it still hasn't. Please bring it into the pints that I can buy in the store. Thank you. All right. Uh, ben and Jerry, if you're listening, this has been <laughs> Melissa Mielens and Margo Van Horn. Uh, thanks for chatting, Melissa. Ben and Jerry's, please bring back that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.